Hey guys, welcome to another Tales of Middle Earth. As you know, I'm Adam and today I'm here with Don. And we're going to be doing some more Battle Company. So Don has brought his what? Goblin Town. Goblin Town mm -hmm. to go up against my Corsairs of Umbar. Um, as you know, I have been on a losing streak with my Battle Company. Don, this is your first match with your yes. Battle Company. I'm hoping I win. I'm hoping I win. I hope I win. I'm sorry, Unlikely. Don. Unlikely. Yeah. I got six models here. What, 10, 12? Uh, yeah, it's Lots. Up there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not liking that all too much. Uh, but today we're actually going to be doing to the death for our scenario. Um, so basically we have to divide our uh, battle company into two different sections. They come on independently, right? Yep. Um, kind of a standard deployment. Yeah. And then uh, it goes until one team's uh, at 33% of right. their starting numbers. Uh, so let's just go over the objectives. So again, it, Game ends at 33% of your numbers. Uh, when this occurs, uh, whoever scored the most victory points is obviously the winner. Uh, you score victory points, or three victory points if your fo enemy force is broken, uh, but your company is not at the end of the game. You score another victory point uh, or for causing a wound, or more or causing one or more wounds, sorry, uh, on your enemy hero. And then if you kill the enemy hero, you get three victory points instead. And that is really... It. Yeah, and it's any enemy hero. Yeah, so you could I have three. Kill you all three of my heroes, and yep. you'd get points for all of them. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm hoping Peach, uh, Boson Peach, actually yeah. does something with his crossbows well, this you got time. Some good targets for your crossbow, that's for sure. Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's show you the armies or the battle companies. Let's show you the board, and let's get right into deployment. All right. All right, guys, so this is my battle companies for this uh, game or match. Uh, so uh, as you know, as we've said, we have to divide the two our battle companies into two equal sizes. So I have six total guys. So I have my first company, which is Boson Peach. Uh, it then has Barak and Ragnar. And then over here, I have Amir, who is my other uh, hero. Uh, then I have Dracarys, which is my new purchase. He is a warrior of... Umbar, which basically uses the warrior of Numenor or Numenorian warrior profile. And then we also have, uh, who is the last one? Umeric. Umeric in the back there with the boarding pike. So that is my six models and my battle company for this mission. All right, so this is Don's battle company and his first time out with his goblin town. So Don, why don't you walk us through who you have here as well as how you have them laid out. All right. Um, so on the right hand side there, I have my, my leader with the scourge, the whip. Yep. His name exactly. is Booger. Booger. Yep. Nice. And uh, he's also got another hero with him just to the right, Roscoe. The guy with the axe. Yep. And yep. then I have a two handed weapon guy there named Mangler. Yeah. And then another goblin called Puke and another one called Stinker. And <laughs> I have a warg called Lucky. Lucky. Yep. Nice. And then on this side we have a warband led by Nasty Ned. Which is this guy here? Yep. Yeah. And a two-handed axe uh, named Chopper. Nice. And then we have Thrasher, Killer, Whip, and then another warg called Dusty. That is Don's Goblin Town Battle Company. So we'll come back and show you the board next. All right, so this here is the board that we're playing on. There's a river coming up the one side over here with a whole bunch of trees going all the way to the other side of the board. And then you have the old castle walls and such there with more trees. So we're going to deploy, and then we'll come back with priority after that. All right, so deployment has been completed. Uh, you see Bosun Peach right there with his other Umbar warriors, or, well, Corsairs of Umbar around him and the Corsair or Umbar warrior there. All the way over here, we have all the wargs. Basically, one straight line across the middle of the board because they all rolled a one and a two. <laughs> they did. Um, so that's where they're starting off. So we might as well get right into priority for turn number one. There's a five versus Don six. Priority Goblin Town. Over here we have Barak who's going to be charging into that warg over there and before he gets into combat, 
He's going to be using his throwing weapon, hopefully hitting. Needing a five. And there's a Blackfire Production six right there on the new Blackfire Productions. Let's see a few wounds. And it's a two. So that's not a wound. He hits, though. And then Spear Sport right there. And this is what it looks like after movement. So Bosa and Peach hasn't moved. These guys all moved up full, though the two uh, Corsairs can still use their throwing weapons and are in range of that ward there. Barak and uh, Ragnar have charged into that ward there. Barak hit with the throwing weapon but failed to wound. And everybody else has stayed stationary at the back. So we'll go into shooting. Don, you have none? Correct. So it will come back into Corsair shooting next. And we're starting off here with Amir's shooting into that ward there, needing a five. There's another Blackfire Production six. Uh-oh. <laughs> and needing fives to wound, defense four. And there's a four, so nothing. So then we'll go into Umeric there. And that's a three, so nothing. Boson Peach here is going to be shooting into that front uh, goblin right there. Stay he hasn't... Hasn't moved. Stinker. Hopefully he's about to stink. Needing fours to hit. There's a five. And he's defense three. Mm -hmm. So I need fours to wound. And as per usual for Bosa and Peach's <laughs> shooting, he might be able to hit, but fail the wound <laughs> on everything. So that's shooting for the first round, so we'll go into combats next. Alright, so the only combat this round is Barak and Ragnar against the one warg. I believe it's Lucky. Uh, so Barak is going to faint. Here we go. I got a two highest to Don's three. That is a win for the Wargs. Let's see if he wounds. Way to go, Lucky. Come on. Oh, two, nothing. But he does push me back that inch. Priority, turn number two. That's a cock die. And there's that one again. To four. So priority goes to Goblin Town. Alright, so Ragnar here. He's gonna be coming around and charging into the captain. What's your captain's name in the Goblin Town guy? Booger. Booger. He's gonna charge into Booger. Before he gets into combat, he's actually gonna use a throwing weapon on him. So needing fives. That's a three. But he does pull him off from there. So that is movement for this round. There is no shooting. Uh, every, all the goblins just moved up. These guys were charged. And then Ward charged into those two. Another Ward charged into Bo Sun Peach. And so we have him that uh, sort of fell back just to support. So we'll go into combat next. All right, so start of the fight phase here. Uh, we have Booger versus Ragnar there. So we both have one dice. Let's see, I got a black fire production six there. So let's see if I wound. He is defense four because he does have armor. You did yes. give him armor. So I need fives. And there's a three, so nothing. But I do push him back that inch. Next combat here is Barak versus somebody. You got his name there? Puke. Puke. Barak versus Puke. So Barak with one and attack. Puke will faint. There's another six. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Blackfire production dice, guys. They are on sale now, and they are on fire for winning combats. Maybe not wounding, but winning combats. Uh, so I need fours. Well, there's a six to wound Barak with another kill. He's been my champion in the battle companies so far. So this combat next, we have uh, Amir. And Dracarys versus Dusty. So here we go. I got a four highest. And there's a six for Dawn. Push them both back. Who are you going to go up against? One's defense four. One's defense five. Let's go with the defense four. <laughs> All right. All right. And it's a two. So no wounds there on Amir. So next combat is going to be Bosun Peach and uh, Umeric. Versus Lucky. So I rolled at two highest. Versus another six. So they both get pushed back. Uh, both on Peach is defense six. So let's see what happens. That's a two. I Nothing. think I've rolled a six with all three. Last one. Priority, turn number three. Oh, I get it automatically. I'm liking that six. That is 
what we want to see. Blackfire Productions logo, right? We've there. seen too many. All right, so I'm going to start here with Barack charging into this guy here. Uh, he's going to move into combat with him. And then he's going to use a throwing weapon, needing fives. Now it's a four, so no hit. All right, then we have Ragnar over there charging into... What's that? Booger. 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 Needing fives again to hit. And there's a four, so nothing. Over here, Bo Sun Peach charging into the work, using his throwing weapon before he gets in there. There's a five to hit. Needing a five to wound. And he actually kills somebody. What? Who'd you kill? Oh, lucky guy? right there. Not so lucky. Eh? Not so lucky anymore. So he's going to continue his move and actually charge into that work right there. Ending his movement like so. Amir here is going to be charging into those two front goblins there. Before he gets into combat with those two, he is going to use a soaring weapon. Need fives to wound, or to hit, and nothing. End of the movement phase, and this is what it looks like. So we had uh, Umeric here uh, char or support uh, Bosun Peach up against uh, Dusty the Warg. We have Amir here surrounded by goblins. He still can get out off to the side, uh, but he does have three on him or so and then we have Dracarys over there again could have potentially three depending on how I want to pull it out I might have him three on him I'm not sure we'll see once it comes into combat then we have over here Barak against two and Ragnar against two as well so no shooting this phase we'll go right into combats next starting here first Bosun Peach and Umeric against the Warg there's a six right there so we win it Let's see, this is Bosun's Peach roll, needing fives. Your defense. Your fight four here, I guess. Yeah. Yep. And your uh, defense four. Oh, uh, defense four, yeah. So needing fives with Bosun Peach. Bosun no. Peach gets his second kill right there. Dracardus here. He's going up against uh, three, so this guy, that guy, and that guy. He's defense five, so he is better. He is going to be shielding as well. So I'll be special striking. Special striking with each of the weapons? Yep. All right. All right, five highest. Let's see if we get them. Ah, five highest. What's your fight value? Two. Two. I win it. All right, so Amir against two next. He is going to fight normally. Here's his roll. Five. Let's see what happens. Two fainters. Uh-oh. Oh, you got double sixes. All right. He does get moved out. Let's see what happens. I see a five and a two, so that is definitely a wound. So Amir's fate does not go off, and again, he's taken out of battle. Just to clarify, that wound was from Stinker. Uh, we just rolled off one, two, three, it was Stinker, four, five, six, the other one, and it was a one, so Stinker got that wound. Gonna go with Barak versus two next. Uh, he is going to shield. Three highest all the way over there. Okay, let's see what Don gets. Hopefully. I have a two-handed guy there, but I'll just fight normally. Yes. Yeah. You want that better roll. Five eyes, so Don does have the win. Okay, and wounds. I don't have any special strikes going on here. Yeah, so you need fives and nothing. Ragnar here is up against two, including Booger. So here's his roll. It's a big fat one. Booger's, <laughs> oh. Booger's the big one, and he's feigning. Yeah. And you win with double sixes. Let's see what happens. The big dice is feigning. Yep. Nothing. Nothing at all. So we'll come back with priority next. Priority. Three. To your three. I had it last, so you have priority. Right so Bosun Peach has called a heroic move uh, to get in the first movement this round. Um, so he's going to move up right there into the two of those guys. And he will use his soaring dagger versus him, needing fives. That's a one, so nothing. Barak here is charging into the front goblin there, using his throwing weapons, needing five, and that's a four, so nothing. Ragnar is going to be doing the same, throwing weapon, needing that five, and it's another four, so he just charges in, not a problem. And that is my heroic move, and this is what it looks like after it, so we'll see what Don does with the rest of his movement phase. So this is what it looks like after Don's movement. So this goblin here, move from up there and round just to pull off the support. The goblin that was supporting this goblin here moved up and supported Booger as Booger support came around and closed in on Dracarys. So we'll go into two fights next. So starting here versus Umeric versus one, they're both fighting regularly. There's a five. 
There's that six again. So he just gets pushed back, see what happens. And he's dead. All right, Bosun here versus two. Uh, Don has already said that he will be special striking. Uh, I'm just gonna fight normally. So there's my five, and there's that six again. Woo! Woo! So he gets pushed back. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, piercing strike. Yep. Plus one. Yep. So he's an awesome Still strength needs, four. <laughs> needs fives. And that's a four. And then this guy's fainting. Yep. And that's a four, so nothing. All right, Jakaris is trapped there. He will be shielding versus three, and Dawn is two-handing, piercing strike. And faint with the other two. And faint with the other two. So let's see what happens. I get four highs with Jakaris. Not yeah, too the good. The small dice is the two-hander. Yep. Ah, five. small dice gets five and the win, so he is trapped. Let's see what happens. So piercing strike. Yep. So it was up by one, so yep. he's strength four, two-handed. Yeah. What's your defense? Uh, you need fours. Uh, defense five, so. Yep. Nothing. Nope. And then. But it, you, you, he is trapped, so you get sorry. another die. And yeah. that takes him out. All right, Brock versus one. So they're fighting. I'm fighting normally. Fighting normal. All right. Uh, four. <gasps> and there's a three. So I need fours to wound you. And Brock with another kill Take on a five. Out. And Ragnar versus two there. Uh, he'll be fighting normally. He is just with the shield, so. Okay, Booger is gonna faint. Yep. All right, okay. here we go. That's a three. So Booger will be the small dice? Yep. And there's a five. He gets pushed back. Okay, so Booger fainting. Yep. Nothing. What do I need to uh, do? No, you're, you're strength four, right? Three. Three versus defense. Three. So that is a wound. All right, so third game. Third game, yeah, with uh, the Umbar Battle Companies, and it's another loss. Uh, we are at the end of this round. I am down to 33% of my guys. Both Sun Peach and Barak have uh, survived this to the very last round and are my last two guys, where... Don has the rest of his goblin horde there. Uh, so we'll come back with the wrap up of the game, so leveling and wounded models and everything, and then we'll do the after action report after that. All right, so we start off with doing our injuries. So I'll be starting off here with my three injured warriors. So I'll start off with Ragnar on a one, he's dead. Uh, two to three, he's injured and sits out next game. Then four to six, he uh, will continue as normal. So. He sits out, next game. Umeric next. Umeric gets a five and is fine. And then Drakaris here. Drakaris is also sitting out next game. So those two will sit out and Umeric will be back for the next match. All right, so Amir here, he is uh, the next one that I'll be rolling for. So I'm hoping for a six to, or a seven because that's full recovery. So let's see what happens. So that is a four. Four is an arm wound, minus one. All right, so the arm wound, minus one strength for each arm wound. Uh, if you have two or more arm wounds, the hero may not carry a shield, two-handed weapon, or second we uh, weapon anymore. So he is at minus one strength. All right, so these are the injured goblins and wargs from Dawn's warband. So we're gonna start over here with that warg or goblin there. That is the pukester. The pukester. And this is his role. The pukester sits out next match. Okay. And next is the Mangler. The Mangler. Let's see what happens. Mm. I would say that's cocked. Good. Not <laughs> good. <laughs> He'd be sitting there next match. Oh, and even worse, he is dead. dead. All right. Okay. Is this lucky or dusty? Uh, this is dusty. Dusty. Let's see what happens to Dusty. Dusty makes full recovery and he's coming he's back. Fine. And this is lucky. 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 Is He's dead. dead. Oh. Bleh. So, that is two dead and two coming back. Or one He's missing a match. One missing match and one coming, coming back. back. Yep. So, we'll come back into experience next. 
All right, so Brock and Bosun Peach have both gained five or more experience. So Bosun Peach has five experience exactly, and Brock has a total of seven, being the beastly warrior that he is of Umbar. So they've both gained an advancement. So I'm going to roll for Bosun Peach first. He gets a two, so he gets a strength or defense increase. So he will be taking... Uh, do I want strength? He wants strength because his defense is already pretty good. So Bosun Peach will take a plus one strength. Uh, Barack over here, he will gain a point of might with that six roll right there. So that's another point of might with Bosun Peach. Sorry, my bad. With Barack, that's another point of might. All right, so none of Dawn's guys have level, leveled up or gained enough experience to level up. So we're going to go right into... Uh, Gold next, so I get D6 plus one for participating. So I get a whole whopping five gold to go with my few gold that I have already. And Dawn gets D6 plus five, so let's see what it is. So he gets six gold in total. All right, so this is my battle companies for the next match that I'm in. So I have Raven coming back. I have Umeric coming back. And I have Amir here with the arm wound, so minus one strength. He's only strength two now. And then I have Bosun Peach with a plus one strength. And then I have Barak with that point of might. So those are my guys for the battle companies. I didn't buy anything with my six gold that I now have. Uh, Don did replace his one goblin with a two-handed weapon out yep. of his six gold that he got from this battle. Uh, but besides that, that's it. So let's get into the after action report next. All right, guys, welcome to the After Action Report. Don, thank you for coming out. And You're again, me. making me lose another game. <laughs> <laughs> Both times I've played you on the channel so far, I think I've lost. <laughs> one was a regular game and one was a battle company. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, it seems like I lose. That's all I do. Well, I that, lose. that last game was uh, a little bit of a... I, th I think I had probably four or five times as many models. You did. You had. I had like six. So it's all good. It's all good. So what's your thoughts on this one? Oh, it's fun. I yeah. love Battle Companies. Yeah, this is what got me back into the game. So yeah. it's, it's nice to come back to Battle Companies again. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be a while before I level any of my guys up because there's so many. The experience That's... gets spread out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where unlike me, both I had two yeah. of my heroes level up this turn. I had Barak who leveled up and gained a might point. Mm -hmm. which is always good in this game and then I had both on peach that gained that increase to his strength so he's now strength four that which makes a big difference right you it's only need a couple of upgrades to your heroes and they become like yeah monsters. pretty good yeah, yeah exactly you had any heroes of this match anybody that sort of stood out for you um really all of I think I killed four of your guys yeah and I'm pretty sure one guy got two of those kills, and I forget who it was. So. Nah, that's okay. Yeah, I think it was Booger, actually. Booger? Uh, yeah, he was doing pretty good. Yeah. So I know myself, my heroes are both on Peach and Barack. They both had two kills each. Yeah. Um, Barack has continued to prove himself in these matches. He's the, usually is the one that's carrying most of the wounds they've caused. Uh, but both on Peach actually proved that he had some worth as a uh, both on this right time because he hasn't done anything <laughs> in the other battle reports I've had him in and matches so yeah um, it was pretty good thank you Don for coming out thank you and uh, until next time guys remember to like share and subscribe and ignite your hobby